Hello everyone and welcome to SimQuest 2 Minute Tuesdays. Today we'll take a look at some functional tooling, jigs and fixtures, printed on the RISE 1 3D printer. The RISE 1 is a machine capable of producing engineering grade parts and it eliminates many of the headaches associated with post-processing. Tooling, jigs and fixtures are essential components of the manufacturing process. Traditional tooling is made primarily of metals to ensure strength, stability, and durability. However, these can be timely and expensive to fabricate, especially for intricate components and one-off parts. The RISE 1 offers an on-demand solution for printing jigs and fixtures. The moment a new iteration or project calls for updated tooling, a part can be produced in a matter of hours. Since RISE's process creates parts with higher Z-strength than common extrusion-based materials, their fixtures have the strength to tolerate common stresses of industrial fabrication and assembly. This first example is a welding fixture consisting of four individual parts. This fixture secures the pipes in a place where a welder can efficiently join them together. The second part is a work holding fixture and drill guide. The part is positioned in the V-blocks and then clamped into place. The drill bushings orient and guide the drill bits. A key benefit of RISE is the ability to print functional permanent inks on the part. Here we can see the fixture's part number, storage location, and assembly instructions. This next part is actually used on the RISE 1 to ensure that the printer's build plate is level. We place it on the rails and slide it along to take measurements at various points. As you can see, these practical fixtures can complement and in many cases replace traditional fixtures made with metal. With features like markup capability and on-demand printing, companies can have an alternative means of making fixtures that will save them time and money in the long run. Well, that's it for today's episode of Two Minute Tuesdays. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.